Fais mon truc! One, two, three! Hey! Hey fam, Tom and Pete back here to talk about a couple of things that we do here. Today we're going to talk about training on an unstable surface. You see a lot of people doing this, cool Instagram posts and those types of things, but why are they doing is the real reason. Now I'll tell you this, if you have a strength coach or a fitness specialist or somebody that you're working with and they tell you to start lifting on an unstable surface to get super strong, it's not the way to do it. I would leave that person. Now, about 20 years ago, a long time ago when I first got into this thing, the conventional thinking was if I can get strong on an unstable surface, I'm going to be even stronger when I go onto a stable surface. Well, all the research is out and we found that that's not true, right? If we want to exert as much force against the ground as possible, training on an unstable surface is not going to be the way to do it. So why would we train on an unstable surface? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first thing is balance and coordination. Something as simple as just standing on one foot on one of these pads right here is going to increase our balance and coordination. Now, as we age, you start to lose your balance as you get a little bit older. One of the things that helps us as we get older is that we're able to control ourselves if we stumble or fall. So if we keep training our balance, it's gonna diminish less as we get older. The other thing is a little bit of coordination here. It takes some coordination in order to stabilize on the surface. The other thing is, go ahead and take a break, coach. The other thing is, is that we can work on some injury prevention. So a lot of times, when we're walking down the street, you'll hit a rock, you'll step on something unstable. And what happens is the brain and the body aren't ready for that change in, in movement. So if we train on an unstable surface, we're preparing the body for hitting that unstable movement. The brain and the body can now work together to stabilize and control before you roll that ankle or hurt that knee. The last reason we can do it, especially before training, is something called neurological efficiency. Basically, we're priming the nervous system, getting the nervous system excited for the work that we're going to be doing. You can do a number of things from just jumping and stabilizing this little thing right here. We can also do it laterally, so we can start from the side and jump on. And you can also do some light lifting on it and some other things. There's a myriad of ways to put some unstable surface training uh, into your program. It's just a matter of doing it at the right time and understanding why you're doing it. Make sure you like, comment, and share.